when we entered into the community, you know, we started to change baseball. You know, we didn't have anything like this in San Antonio, which is one reason why this particular venture was, was very um, appealing to me and the reason why DBAT was appealing to me. It changed the face of San Antonio baseball. It's made other facilities have to get better. It's made other facilities have to really step up and it's given people an outlet to have a quality place to go within South Texas and there was really nothing like it that was in far South Texas. This is one of the first facilities outside of Dallas. You know, it was, um, it was a good and welcome change for baseball and softball in South Texas and I was proud to bring it to San Antonio. I love being an owner because, again, it gives me an opportunity to meet a lot of kids, help a lot of kids that couldn't be helped in the past, but it's just a enjoyable experience. Meeting all the other co-owners is, is worth a lot. We're all in this together. We're all on the same mission. We all have the same purpose and just knowing that everybody's pulling for each other. DBAT means uh, it's a place for every kid, not just the select kid, but every kid to come in, enjoy baseball, get taught by uh, quality instructors, professionals, and to teach, uh, to teach the, the game of baseball that everybody loves to, uh, to these young men and uh, try to teach them to, to be good humans also. It gives every kid the same opportunity to become a college baseball player or a pro player down the road today. Everybody's in this in this business because they love the game of baseball and they love working with young young men and young and young women. Uh, to try to get them better and, and teach them everything they know about the game of baseball or softball. D bat to me means being able to teach the kids the proper way to play the game of softball and baseball. Um, there's so many places out there where you can go learn a little bit, but for me, DBAT is known for breaking everything down, teaching kids the right way, and uh, watching them progress. I've been around the organization since I was in high school, trained at the facilities. Um, I mean, DBAT is is my life now. Um, you know, I'm a GM. I do lessons still. Um, it's it's what I do day in and day out. DBAT is is molding minds, um, not only uh, for sports, but uh, you know, trying to teach these kids, uh, you know, life lessons. Um, not just teaching them how to be. Um, you know, a good baseball player, a good athlete, um, but to teach them how to be a, a good quality person. DBAT just has a good culture of family. Um, our DBAT franchise is in a small community, and I think that every person that walks in the door kind of becomes a part of that um, smaller family, whether it's a baseball player, or a softball player, or a t-ball player, and um, I've met some of my best friends working through that business. Bringing um, DBAT into Wichita Falls um, was, is a great opportunity for all the young female athletes in that area. Um, we're bringing kids from not only the North Texas area, but also Southern Oklahoma, and they have a great place to train now year-round, no excuses of um, weather conditions, too much heat, uh, too much rain. We have a great coaching staff, we have a lot of good professionals in there that are more than willing to um, help them grow their game and kind of get ready for that next level because they see great programs like UT and OU and Oklahoma State and we have a lot of girls that have that, that dream to be able to play in college. DBET means to me, um, especially in our community, is a great area for kids to come, um, not only be involved in something but to develop a skill that can maybe help them down the road. Um, Lawton doesn't have a whole lot of extracurricular activities for kids to participate in, so we were kind of breaking the ice with this, bringing this into our community. 
and it's taken off really well. So to me, it is a place for, for kids to go be a kid. Anybody can be a DBAT kid, and what I mean by that is we got DBATs all over the region. I got kids from schools with less than 150 kids in their high school, and they call themselves DBAT kids. Dad, mothers, sons, daughters can share, you know, their passion for softball, baseball, just being together as families, spending time together, a place for the community to, to come, you know, in particular in my location in San Antonio, to be able to, you know, have a common place for friends to get together, you know, sometimes uh, two to three nights a week to come and and hit baseballs and to, and to share and laughter and let kids run around. You know, it's, it's kind of a local meeting place for a lot of families that spend a lot of time together uh, during the baseball season. Uh, beyond the practice and the facility that we provide, that's a lot of what it means to me is, you know, seeing the families that, that come together and the friends that come together. You know, building on what Caden Kyle started 10 years ago is developing the youth of America in the baseball, softball realm, coming to work every day to make, uh, you know, other people better, things like that, to be able to, uh, you know, not consider to have a real job, but to run a baseball, softball indoor to provide for our families, uh, for the instructors to come in every day. You know, things like that, uh, kind of a blessing for us to be able to continue to grow somebody's dream and be part of that is something special that, you know, we try not to take for granted every day.